when we talk of uh, entrepreneurship entrepreneur enterprise what what is the basic understanding on the subject if you are, want to get into the deep dive into the subject but let's let's have a, a very very basic understanding on the subject entrepreneur it could be you it could be me it could be anybody in the world and what is that entrepreneur it's an individual who creates a new business bearing most of the risk and enjoying most of the rewards so the entrepreneur is is conceptually as an individual who creates a new business opportunity he takes the risk and who takes the risks he is entitled for rewards also benefit also so entrepreneur is a business identity who has an idea for business who put efforts to realize a business and idea into an opportunity so that's a very very basic understanding of an entrepreneur it could be anybody it could be you it could be anybody around you entrepreneurs take risk let's understand the concept from the very grassroots level we want to be in a profession and in the profession you could be in two ways either you serve somebody be an employee or you could be an employer one basic difference between employee and employer is employer has a capability to take more risk and when employer has the risk taking capacity of high degree that is what entrepreneur have to have so entrepreneur takes more risk he is courageous to move forward in the business model there will be many unknown unknowns will be there always there will be many known unknowns will be there but he still take the risk and move forward taking the risk does not mean that you take a blind risk no there is a judicious decision there is a logical reasoning there is a logical decision taken but still the risk is taken to move forward not to hold yourself so that is what an entrepreneur does it and that's a very thin line which is between the employee and employer of this risk taking capability a very basic understanding that what you need to become an entrepreneur we already saw uh, the big jump of a risk taking capability we saw in our previous slide but what next an entrepreneur have to possess a great quality of passion the passion is the driving force to be an entrepreneur if you don't have a passion don't try to be an entrepreneur straight lesson learned from the industry passion is the phenomena which will drive you through your entrepreneurship journey vision and self confidence and tenacity you have to have <clears throat> a vision where you want to be in your enterprise in your entrepreneurship 
and with that vision you should have a self confidence to reach there and continuously work upon your passion passion will not let you sleep vision will never make you look short vision will be making you look beyond the boundaries and self confidence will make you reach to the point you should have a great idea you should do something different or if you have some unique idea which the society will get attracted you know there is a problem in the society so you have identified a problem statement and you are working on it and you are giving the most valuable value added solutions to the society you will able to sell your product you will able to sell your services the society will pay you back for that you should have a plan of success write down your success path make a plan make a business plan we'll get into the business plan details and all in the coming lectures on the session in the series but the most important thing is your plan should be success oriented with an well known milestone to be achieved and what next there are more in the, uh, there are more in the series by the way i'm just touching some of them right now to just to start a basic understanding on the subject consistent execution of the plan if i say i replace consistent word with sustainable execution of the plan the meaning is you keep working on your plan with a sustainable fashion you achieve your all milestone intermediate milestone of your business plan and keep working on it sometimes there will be some pluses there will be some minuses there will be some good opportunities coming up sometimes you will be progressive positively sometimes you will progress negatively but don't stop your journey keep working on your plan be sustainable in executing your plan be consistent in executing your plan that will create a sustainable path of growth that was a very basic understanding of uh, entrepreneur now let's understand uh, another word which is enterprise what is an enterprise by the way an enterprise is a project or a venture undertaken for gain definition is very clear we want a gain if i have a sufficient capital in my pocket if i keep it in the banks i'll get some growth on that money if i put something in the share market my capital will grow but when i am doing an enterprise i am looking for a firm gain plan because i am investing my capital into it i am investing my time into it so the enterprise is straightly focused on a gain or you can call it a business enterprise a quick comparison if i want to make with company so the company could be a profit organization or could be a non profit organization a group of persons working together but when i am utilizing the definition when i am using the definition of enterprise i am looking for the gain 
So it's a business enterprise looking for a gain. The slide is not visible right now. I just clicked and I show you something, but it's not visible something. The phenomena called entrepreneurship is not visible. If you see enterprise are visible, uh, you see a you see a business organization enterprise visible, established. You see a Google, it's an enterprise. You see Microsoft is an enterprise. If you see uh, their CEOs, they're entrepreneurs, you are visible. But entrepreneurship, which is a matrix, which is a strong bonding and linkage between entrepreneur and enterprise is a non-visible phenomena, but very important and very critical phenomena. And what is that entrepreneurship? It's an ability and readiness to develop, organize, and run a business enterprise. It's an ability and readiness to develop, organize, and run a business enterprise. Along with any of its uncertainties in order to make a profit. Entrepreneurship is an ability. Entrepreneurship is a driving force where the organization is run as per the business plan, business benefit management plan. This terminology I will explain separately when it comes to the occasion, but it talks about how the uh, a business entity enterprise has to make the profit, successful profit. What is the plan for it? So entrepreneurship continuously work with, uh, with enterprise and entrepreneur to make an organization profitable in spite of there are uncertainties, there are risks available. And if a very simple example, if I have to say about entrepreneurship is, Starting a new business is a, is a, is a entrepreneurship characteristics. And entrepreneurship encourages you, empower you to take a financial risk in the hope of profit. Yes. Till the time you don't realize a profit. Okay. So it's a hope. But it's, you take a financial risk. You put your capital at risk. You put your venture capital at risk in the hope of the profit. So the entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship is a very critical phenomena. Look at this. The entrepreneurship drive through many phenomena. Entrepreneurship will drive you through investors to get more capital for your business. Entrepreneurship will drive you through partnership or co-founders to make your business more strengthy. It will allow a collaborative idea. It will give you a concept of team building. <coughs> It will be working on the productivity concept. It will work on the business plans. It will work with business incubators. So the concept here is, we will get all these terminologies and details, but the most important thing is, to get a, a, just a quick understanding on the subject. Entrepreneurship is correlated or in a matrix where all this successful enterprise phenomena 
or the requirements are in place and entrepreneurship involves and take care for all these phenomena to have a successful enterprise, profit-making enterprise. We will continue our basic understanding on entrepreneurship basically. So what is that uh, concepts of entrepreneurship leads us to? A very, very fundamental and objective target. Entrepreneurship focuses on economic growth. Enterprise have to make a profit and entrepreneur has to work in a way that enterprise make an economic growth. And when you say economic growth, year on year, sustainable growth, the curve is, the graph is continuously rising. So the one of the critical phenomena or one of the fundamental concept is economic growth of an enterprise and that is the driving force or which is a concept led by entrepreneurship. And how it is? By creating new products, how we do it, like, like how you do an economic growth, for example, if I, we look into an, a 30,000 feet outlook, it's very easy to say, let's do, let's create an enterprise which makes an economic growth oh, uh, and uh, which makes an economic growth on year on year on year on year basis, correct? But what the basic fundamental things are required for that. By creating new products, and services, that is essentially required. That is what enterprise do. Enterprise creates a product or a services. Either enterprise create an organization, which is a service provider, or enterprise create an organization which create the product. Mobile phone is a product. Transporting the goods from one country to another country is a services, part of supply chain management. So by creating new products and services, it stimulate new employment. Whenever there is an enterprise, it creates an opportunity for employment, which is very essential as per the statistics, unemployment numbers will be rising across the globe. Reasons are different, reasons are many. So more and more enterprises will stimulate new employment. Point is well taken that the new enterprises could be more automized, more AI based, more internet of thing based, but still there will be an opportunity for growth of employment. And ultimately what happens when you create a profit making enterprise, when you create product, when you create services, when you stimulate the employment, ultimately result in the acceleration of economic development. So the enterprise and entrepreneurship is essentially not only required for its own benefit, rather it is required for the development of country, development of state, complete of development of region. And in totality, it's a globe development. What next? Public policy 
that encourages and supports entrepreneurship should be considered important for economic growth. In the opening slide, if you remember, I told about the agile approach. Our policies should support the growth of the entrepreneurship, the growth of enterprise. Ultimately, if we are easily able to grow the more and more enterprises, that will lead to more and more economic growth, that will lead to an accelerated economic growth for any country or any nation. So that's why the public policies should be in such a way they are pro-entrepreneurship or pro-enterprise. The meaning is that. Entrepreneurship by reducing cost increases its profits and provides opportunity for future growth and development. That's the most uh, uh, important phenomena by reducing cost. We have to remember one point. There should not be any act which leads to the wastage. Reducing the cost does not mean that you are compromising on the qualities. You are compromising on the nature of services. No. But whatever waste we are doing, if you look from the lean approach, which says minimizing the waste and increasing the profit. So basically, entrepreneurship adopt the lean concept minimizing the waste and when as soon as you approach minimizing the waste your profitability increases so entrepreneurship by reducing cost increases its profit and provides opportunity for future growth and development when you are reducing the cost when you are avoiding the waste by the lean by adopting the lean approach automatically you are able to expand your enterprise with the help of best entrepreneurship practices. And when you expand, when you are able to do a value engineering, when you are able to save the money on your present products and services, you can utilize that capital for your expansion. Because uh, reducing the product price by one, just one cent is not that important question. But when you do a mass production, you can understand that you are saving a lot in totality. So the entrepreneurship, the point to take away from this is entrepreneurship invite the lean approach, motivate, promote the lean approach in the enterprise business environment. Employment opportunities. Of course, we discussed that in the first blog, but let's get into the details about it. Employment opportunity, entrepreneurship and its activities provides the maximum employment potential. Large number of persons are employed in entrepreneurial activities in the country. So this is an employment opportunity. Uh, we already discussed about it in the first blog, but that is one of the critical phenomena which society gains out of an enterprise development. It is not about only making a profit by the entrepreneur, at a large, it helps in building the society. That's why the entrepreneurs are called or known as assets of the country also. That we'll see in the next slides or maybe some uh, slides afterwards. So they are called the assets of the nation. Let's do a walkthrough. Uh, you'll be getting in, in the current session, you'll be getting an idea on these concepts from the different perspectives, from different angles. 
it's, it's basically an 360 degree approach i adopt while we are presenting the discussion so that that you can look at the topic from different perspectives and different angles so let's do a walk through on entrepreneurship entrepreneurship triggers development yes now it is established yes it 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 develops it it triggers a development it triggers the social change also the lifestyle changes when an, an enterprise is opened in a village the life cycle changes the buying power increases more value as added to the life of the citizens so it has a great impact it has a great social change it drives the social change it triggers invention because when you have the idea that idea need to be converted to an opportunity so how it will be converted to an opportunity probably you may have to do a research you may have to do an invention to meet your idea so entrepreneurship is a driving force for invention also rather this is called need based invention which is most prominent in a scientific laboratory when you do a research that is part of academics but when an entrepreneur do an invention it is part of applied social contribution you are creating a product or service you are inventing a product to support the society business or problem statement converting a society problem statement into an a business opportunity through invention many small small products are invented many examples are available if the society or the entrepreneur would have never thought of high speed mobility the bullock cart horse cart bicycle two wheelers four wheelers train aeroplane this would have never happened so just the concept of providing the solution speed solution to the mobility has triggered the all means of transport today and the series is not stopping drone artificial intelligence internet of things there are all the reasons of problem statement converted to a business opportunity through the invention path it's a big statement but it's true developed countries have forward thinking creativity science entrepreneurship progressive interest uh, progressive entrepreneurship and the countries which are developing or want to be developed countries they also follow the same path so it's basically the purpose of statement here is that the developed countries are in this state and they are maintaining this state because there was a forward thinking there was a creativity there was an introduction of science and technology in the through entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is important because it is capable of improving living standards and creating capital yes that's very true living standards when you open an enterprise in a village 
you are you are adding a value to the economy of that village you are improvising the economy of the village a small town a small city if you are on the global levels you may be impacting many villages many small towns or maybe an an enterprise based business oriented model across the globe and in turn which is improvising your living standards not only by the purpose of employment rather by your services by your products so you are creating the product and services which are improving the living standards and in turn creating the capital also so the capitals are created economic growth is created through entrepreneurship a slightly alarming statement but it's true also too much entrepreneurship can be harmful to economic growth entrepreneurship is not a fashion others are doing so i should do no entrepreneurship is a scientific approach a social approach to add a value to economic growth but when everybody want to be an entrepreneur everybody want to be an opening an enterprise so the fundamentals of business model if they are ignored they are not looked into in that scenario the enterprises fails and we have to remember one point that the enterprises which contributes to the economic growth adding a gdp growth of a nation but at the same time if enterprises are making loss there is a waste of capital waste of product waste of services that negatively impact the economic growth of a small town village or could be a national or global level the success ratio of the startups is not that much encouraging so the most important thing is the life cycle of an enterprise starting from concept to mature level need to be well planned with basic requirements basic pillars of the enterprises and those basic pillars are ignored when there is a rush to open an enterprise or when there is a crowd a huge crowd approaching towards the entrepreneurship business modeling so the point of caution here is that that the 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 point of concern here is that that others are doing so i should do is not necessary if i don't meet the basic criteria of passion risk taking capabilities sustainable performance and growth that could lead to an uh, that could lead to an enterprise which is making a loss and ultimately it is implying it is it is making an impact on economic growth entrepreneurs are national assets that's very important thing that's very important thing because they are bringing social change they are earning profit that's one thing because they are taking risk so 
they are eligible to take a profit also. But at the same time, they are national assets because they are adding a value to the GDP growth of the nation. They are creating an opportunity of employment. And many reasons. They have the potential to impact the society way of living. Their inventions raise living standards. There are different inventions are done. Need-based, idea-based, society requirement-based inventions are done, which increases your living standards. Online jobs are created, adding to growth of economy. One of the examples is India. Creating wealth and entrepreneurial projects. The wealth is created ultimately. And the projects are created. Ventures are created. So the entrepreneur has a great role to play. In the triangle of entrepreneur, enterprise, and entrepreneurship, all the three are critical and important. And with complexity, with high degree of accuracy connected to each other. Entrepreneurship and economy. Entrepreneurship is driving a new products and services produced by entrepreneurs and that boosts the economic growth. In early 1990s, a few information technology companies were made up in the IT industry in India. I'm just giving an example of India, okay? In 2000, 2K issue boosts the IT industry and so on. So the point is an opportunity statement. The, the growth of internet was expected in the beginning of year 2000 that the growth of internet will be a big, big, big consultants have estimated that the growth of uh, internet by 2010 will be some fold. But all the assumptions went haywire on. The internet growth has seen many, many folds growth in the era of 2010, 2015, and we all know that. So, once the curve increases, when the growth curve increases, it has a direct relationship of entrepreneurship, growth of enterprises with support of entrepreneurship concept. And the entrepreneurship and enterprise and, inter, uh, and entrepreneur, they keep a close watch on the various modules of opportunity and the problem statements. A simple example, during Corona, IT companies have done a very high scale of business because the world was surviving on online business model. And without Internet of Things without artificial intelligence and without IT support, that was not possible. Medical industries, vaccines for COVID has created a very high degree of scalable opportunity and they address the requirement of the society, very essential requirement of the society. So the entrepreneurship and economy, they go hand in hand. Considering the opportunity, 
considering the problem statement and the great ideas put into it, invention put into it, creates a business model opportunity, which in turn directly impact the economic growth of a country. An example of IT industry, which I just told you just now. So the IT industry supports many businesses to grow, whether it's an education, online education, medical industry, artificial intelligence, call center operations, networking, hardware. So IT is not doing the business modeling for their own industry. Rather, IT is an application platform which is supporting all the institutions, financial institution, educational institution across the world. So that is adding to a growth curve. That is adding to an economy. Increase jobs and higher income in the form of higher tax revenues expenses, leading increasing national income. When there is a growth of the business, it's, it's, it's a taxation growth for the country also. So the country can invest more on its infrastructure, medical infrastructure, infrastructure on highways, city development. So because Tax revenues are increased for the nation. So the entrepreneurship only does not create a wealth for themselves or for the society. In turn, it creates a wealth for the nation also in the form of tax revenues. And that helps in building up the national income of a country. And the government has can invest that in the human resources, other industries, other infrastructures, medical infrastructures, as I told already in my previous statement. So this is how the entrepreneurship even impact a social impact and, and the revenue generation for the government. Establish companies. Remember that we discuss companies. This could be a profit and non-profit organization. They do profit, but they're non-profit organization also. But the existing companies, they are restricted to existing. Uh, they, they, when they are already mature stage. So they have the fixed markets, they have fixed profits. And, and the business model is like a, in the fixed frame. But when you add an entrepreneurship concept into it, it starts scalability. It see the economic growth for that business model for existing companies. Entrepreneurs and social environment, they are deeply connected. How? Let's see. Just a statistics from internet. 7.33 billion are mobile users as on date. These numbers could change uh, here uh, depending on the accuracy of the information, but to the broad extent, which is almost 90% of world population. Now imagine. An entrepreneur has developed the mobile phone, a product, and given in the hands of society. <clears throat> and that too, 90% of society. This much mobile users, when they are available, 
the word has come in the application you can do your banking you can you can you can order your food you can order your groceries you can order anything what you need you can do any transaction what you need with just the help of mobile this is how the social environment change you don't go to banks you don't go to the shops you don't go and buy in person just the applications are doing for you the social environment you are giving an opportunity to spend your own personal time on yourself more and the business model has changed in such a way in the beginning the smart phone were so costly so it was in the beginning it was a uh, it was for rich you can say okay in a very simple understanding language okay the mobile was for rich but now is no more luxury it's a necessity mass production of mobile cost has dropped so much so this is how a single one product created out of an idea by an entrepreneur impacted the society imagine this is the situation right now where the internet connectivity is around 50% across the globe once it reaches 90% plus internet connectivity also imagine in that scenario the present business models which are available for online business models available okay in the areas will be dropping down to a small town village so there not be any boundary for that this is how the social environment will be uh will be getting the benefits of those entrepreneur developments and this is how the social environment is 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 directly correlated to entrepreneurs and the act of the entrepreneur which is enterprise with the through the entrepreneurship yes this i this statement i repeated probably many times during the presentation but entrepreneurship breaks the year old methods and provides unique product and services entrepreneurship develops an idea in your uh, sorry the entrepreneurship converts your idea into an opportunity with invention with a technology with simple solutions so this is how the entrepreneurship act as a disruption technology to the existing prevailing practices if entrepreneurship is not dynamic nobody will think of changing the gasoline based vehicle to the electrical vehicles that is also a concept of entrepreneurship continual continuous progress and growth and addressing the opportunity addressing the uh, problem statement and creating an opportunity out of it so it breaks the year old methods which is nothing but a disruption the cameras used to be with x ray films and we used to go and we used to get it developed okay you are going to the photoshop to get it done one day one entrepreneur got an idea why can't we make it digital no need to go no need to have that much hassles no need to reload the extra films everything in your camera so the digital camera got invented a unique product has been generated which has disrupted extra film based uh, cameras we have seen extra film cameras for many years in our life cycle but a digital camera has replaced 
Now, digital camera has been replaced because cameras are available in your mobile. Eye. So, the unique products are being created over and over time and again. There is no full stop. There are many dots which continue the growth of economy by the concept of entrepreneurship. And in turn, in turn, it improves the quality of life, greater independence of the economy. Business opportunities are created. When business opportunities are created, more cash flow is created in the society. In the financial model, more cash is generated. And it creates a quality of life improvement also. Building the societies. How we build the societies? Entrepreneur supports growth of entrepreneurship passionate people. It's a big statement and very important statement. If you are an established entrepreneur, you are a big giant now. So, you don't do your own business. You must have seen the shark tanks, okay? Shark tank USA, shark tank India, okay? What they do? They invest, they support. That's a platform which supports. And that is just an example, by the way. That's only an example. There are many enterprise entrepreneurs, big Dignatic profile entrepreneurs who owns big enterprises, who has a global business, global footprint. They support the small, small startups. The people who are passionate to add a value through enterprise development. So they invest their money in those. They promote them to do a business model. So this is how they impact they don't restrict themselves that I did it, matter ends. No. They encourage similar entrepreneur who has passion to develop an enterprise. They support them. They support them to scale. They support them to grow. And in turn, in turn, society grows. Let's do something new. Support organization and needy people. So that is a that is a building the society. The thought when it comes, let's do something new. Immediately, you are building up an organization. You are building up. You are bringing the needy peoples on the platform. And in place of needy people, I would say more appropriately. The concern peoples who can contribute in that business model, you are bringing them on the platform. You are utilizing in turn, you are utilizing their capabilities, their technical know-how for building up the, your enterprise. And in turn, in that process, society is building. The statement in addition to their own projects, the think of society, which is one of the importance of entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship, the basic principle is, the basic driving force is, an enterprise cannot be created in an isolated land. Enterprise is an integral part of society. That's why entrepreneurship says that when you are opening an enterprise, there's a clear message to inter, entrepreneur and entrepreneur enterprise that you are the integral part of society. So you have to consider society in your growth story because there will be day in, day out, give and take will be happening with society. So consider society as an integral part of your entrepreneurship business model or enterprise business model.
and we know there are many successful entrepreneurs they are not only developing another enterprises but they are building up the society they are supporting the societies for good cause and we know there are many in the world it could be education it could be health it could be medical infrastructure it could be an education to the remote areas many ngos many entrepreneurs are in the lane or in this queue in this list across the globe <clears throat> when you want to be a good businessman or a good entrepreneur the same goodness carries to the charity and society so the way you are good to your business to your enterprise you are good to society at the same time and you are that's why you are building the society as an entrepreneur entrepreneurship and an individual that's uh, one of the finest uh, uh, understanding that an entrepreneurship how it covers an individual how it looks as an individual how it looks at an entrepreneur entrepreneurship clearly defines if you have an idea or if you have a money that is not sufficient you should have self motivation passion so entrepreneurship is clearly defining that idea and money is not sufficient bring the passion bring the self motivation which is very essential you do not have an income today you have started your enterprise but you are not making an income either you are making a loss or you are making no income but entrepreneurship says that be committed to your strategy and keep moving be sustainable don't withdraw yourself because you have defined you have already defined your business model you are best knowledgeable on your business model this spikes of plus and minuses will keep coming and keep going but don't get detached don't withdraw yourself from the strategy and keep moving be sustainable and you will hit the success so that is what entrepreneurship says entrepreneurship says don't allow your idea to overlook fit for purpose product you may have a great idea but probably your idea needs some change some tweak to be acceptable product in society or in the market so tweak your idea to fit for purpose what is sellable in the market create that don't try to sell your ideas if it is not accepted by the society rather sell the product which is being acceptable by society so fit for purpose product is the prime criteria and there are many there are many startups in the world they faces this challenge they come with the great ideas but there is no demand or very limited demand so you have to respect 
the demand curve of the society or anything which you are creating new which has not been created so far that should be scalable that should be acceptable at a large in society it should not be a luxury product it should not be a limited demand product so look for the demand fit for the purpose with this we will uh, conclude our uh, interaction here and i hope you have uh, understood and rather i am able to communicate you the very basics of enterprise entrepreneurship and entrepreneur and we will look for more interactive sessions in future thank you very much